Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If y'all are new here, my name is Caroline and you should totally subscribe and join the man fam. My dog looks like he has been electrocuted. I don't know what's going on, but he is kind of having a weird hair face at the moment where his hair is growing out. So it's like black on the top, but then it's growing out really white or gray so he looks a little bit frazzled right now don't mind that but anyways yeah welcome back it's a very very rainy day right now in march i'm wearing my cookie monster pajama pants threw on a flannel because flannels are just the comfiest things ever and we're gonna do a little bit of a life update and q a people either love these or hate these but this one is definitely gonna be worth watching because there's lots of updates and things that are going to be really big and in my life and also on all of my social media platforms so I asked on Instagram for y'all to give me some questions and we're just gonna go through them and answer them also how cute is this little hair clip it's from MEJ and I am obsessed with it it's holding my hair back this is one of the very few clips that actually can hold all of my hair back let's just go for it honestly how are you doing i am feeling a lot feeling all the emotions right now this year is going to be amazing and i'm very hopeful I'm really excited to see where it takes me it's definitely been stressful i feel like january is kind of always a rut period especially for content creators who participate in vlogmas it's really easy to get burnt out and i think i was kind of feeling a little bit of that in december okay this train is literally so loud and then on top of that my grandmother who passed away really really took a big toll on me it made me reevaluate a lot of things in my life I also kind of realized that I didn't really know who I was completely so much of my life has been built around who I am and my work that for all of middle school all of high school and now college that's kind of not what has defined me but a lot of who I am is based around that and so just kind of had the realization that wow I definitely need to be more intentional and do more things separate from work like music obviously is one of my passions and I love it but it ties into my work and so if I'm going to make music then it's probably going to be shown on my platforms this year I really want to push myself to do things that I would have said no to so for example I really want to get into tennis for some reason I've also been doing racquetball at the gym at the rec center here and and I love it so I don't know maybe just finding things like that that have nothing to do with my work and and whatnot this is a question I feel like there's never really a good way to answer this or a time when you are supposed to answer it so I'm just gonna get it out there a lot of y'all have picked up on my recent breakup drew and i are no longer together no hard feelings at all i have nothing but respect for him and his family and honestly i just i wish him the best there's nothing really bad to say about it it's just kind of something that is between him and i not between us and the internet not between us and our old town or whatnot it's strictly between him and i and so i just ask because it's kind of been really overwhelming this past month to just let it settle in the dust because breakups are never fun for anybody i made the conscious decision to post my relationship online so i understand that people are curious but i don't think that people have a right to know why because like i said it's between him and I. To answer all the questions that I'm reading on my phone right now about this, he and I are no longer together. Any thought of a second dog? You know what? Honestly, right now, probably not. Having a dog is a lot of work, and I already get super emotional leaving Matcha when I go to class, when I go to bar, when I'm out with my friends and whatnot. I hate leaving him, so I can't imagine. I mean, I guess it would be nice for him to have a friend, but whenever I get married and whenever I, you know, am settled down, that's when I'm gonna get another dog for matcha but who knows i didn't think i was gonna get a dog my freshman year of college and i did and it was the best decision ever because he is like my best friend where do you get your inspiration from you're so aesthetic thank you when people ask me what my style is i don't really know because i have always been the type of girl that cannot stick to one genre of music that cannot stick to one style of clothing obviously hair because i've changed my hair so many times throughout my life i love old time classy looks with the ralph lauren polo look 
logo. I love that. I love flannels. I love hoodies. Some days I'm a hoodie and leggings girl, but for the most part, I would say preppy, classy, coastal, if that makes any sense at all. But then I also love businessy because I do wear blazers. My mom has a really big part in the fashion and what I wear. And then I would say she and my dad have a big, big part in my music because I love all kinds of music. What is something about college you didn't realize before? I remember in high school and in middle school, there were so many opportunities where if you got a zero on an assignment or you did really bad, you could retake it and get 100. You had all these opportunities and chances. And I remember in high school, they always said in college, you don't get this. Like your grade is your grade, whatnot. And I would say some professors are definitely, they live by that. They base their classes off of that mentality of whatever grade you get, this is it. But there have been times where I've met with my teachers outside of class and just asked for extra tutoring and just showing up in front of them and letting them know that I care about my grade and want to learn more about it instead of asking, can I fix this? There's a chance that they will let you fix it and get a higher grade. So I guess like, the strictness of it obviously if you cheat in college and if you do things that are not allowed you're gonna get punished for it there's not as much grace as there is in high school but college professors also have other jobs so it's not just strictly a teacher they will work with you because they're more on the same level as you and they'll treat you more like an adult because you are an adult favorite dessert that you made okay so i made this strawberry cake for my friend kaylee's 19th birthday I threw a little surprise birthday for her and it was, oh my gosh, divine. If you haven't seen it, I'll put a picture on the screen, but the strawberry cake was amazing. I did like a cream cheese vanilla frosting on top and then cut up strawberries and added it. But I love baking and cooking, love making people feel special on their birthdays. And that cake was like, I want it right now. My mouth is watering just thinking of it. How is your workouts going? I've gotten my workouts down to a T. And I need to share it because I am obsessed. And I feel like I've never seen the most progress and change in my body since I've done this routine. So every day... I go to bar class. Bar is like a mix of Pilates and yoga, but also, I don't know, like cardio too, because you do a lot of like bending, squatting, things like that, but it's really, really good for toning. Those are the kind of workouts that I always wanted. I'm not against lifting. Basically, all of my friends lift. They show me workouts sometimes, but personally for me, bar is something that I feel most confident doing, and I just like the results from it. So I always go to bar every day, and on my Apple Watch, I can see how many steps I walk. I try to average 10,000 steps a day, and it's kind of easy because if you're a college student, you do a lot of walking just in general. So I'll usually get 5,000 steps just walking along campus and doing my day-to-day -day lives, going grocery shopping, whatever. At my gym, there's like an indoor track and there's also treadmills. And so I'll either walk the indoor track and call my parents and that passes time really, really fast. Little tip, if you hate walking on treadmills and you just hate looking at the number go up slowly and slowly, then call your parents or call somebody and just debrief because time will go like that. My girlfriends and I usually plan when we go to the gym around the same time. So they'll do their lift i'll be in my bar class and then we'll just walk and talk on the track and so that's what i do every day it's kind of nice because each time i go to bar there's different instructors so it's not the same workout every day it's different parts of your body that are being targeted and that definitely helps because if you do the same workout sometimes it can actually stunt your progress and your growth oh okay this is so good because i have been posting about dutch bros like no other go to order at dutch bros i get the medium iced white chocolate lavender cold brew and I add oat milk in it. That is the best thing ever. Another order if you're not into cold brew, I put it on my TikTok. Iced medium Kokomo with oat milk. So good. So it's like chocolate milk. What is your favorite part of your home? My bed. My bed is a literal cloud. This is something that I'm really proud of myself about because my old bed was not comfy at all. But every single time that my girlfriends sleep over, they always, always want to sleep in and they never want to get out of bed. So I have to open the blinds, turn on the lights, wake them up because my bed is like a marshmallow, like a literal marshmallow. And I love it. How do you go out alone and feel safe or fine? So I carry my keys everywhere with me. And on my keys, I have this thing called Birdie. It's like a trigger alarm. And if you're a girl, you need to get this. My aunt got this for me. I think it was my last birthday. Basically, I'm not going to pull it right now because it's very loud and scary. But this top part, if I like pull it, the light starts flashing and it is like the biggest alarm whistle ringing 
it's really terrifying. I've done it before in the car and I scared myself. I also carry pepper spray. Got this at Cabela's. But you can literally get pepper spray anywhere. <laughs> Matcha looks really scary right now. He's in an in-between hair period. <laughs> Do you feel left out not being in Greek life deciding if I should rush or not? You know what? I don't feel left out at all. And I think it's... Well, I don't want to make a general assumption or claim but i didn't go to a school in the south like a lot of my friends did i had one friend go to university of arkansas one to Ole Miss, some to a&m and in the south greek life is a big thing oh one of my friends is at smu and she tells me all the time if you're not in a sorority or a fraternity there it's really hard to get involved and make friends because a lot of colleges are based on that and where i went in particular boise state it's not really i mean it's a big big part of boise state but like I made friends just fine without it and I'm the type of person that doesn't want to buy my friends as much as people don't want to hear me say that and hopefully that's not controversial. I just don't feel like buying my friends and being in a sorority on top of college tuition costs a lot of money. It adds up. Everybody that I know says that they hate weekly chapter and I, I know I would hate it so it kind of just depends what you're going to college for. It's not a bad thing to be in one but I don't personally feel left out because I put myself out there on the first day of school and just made sure that I made friends. Like I, I was very adamant. I'm like I'm not gonna to go this whole school year without having a friend and I can't just sit on my butt all day and expect people to walk up to me I actually have to put in the effort that's that's my take on that do you want to move to another country in the future you know what I have always always wanted to live in Austria like I want to get married there or have my honeymoon there or something because Austria is literally my favorite place on the whole earth I think it is beautiful yeah I guess if I were to move to a country it would be there or somewhere that has Scandinavian lifestyle like Sweden Copenhagen I don't know just those countries are the most precious thing ever oh this is so good okay these questions are deep y'all how can you differentiate a genuine soul to a bad friend in college I've definitely touched on this on one of my podcast episodes, so I'm gonna do a little plug really quick I have a podcast called letters from Caroline. I keep them short. I'm straight to the point I don't have ads in it and each episode is a letter from me to you The way that I see it is when I left high school I told myself and I promised myself no more BS I'm not gonna be friends with somebody who I can genuinely look at and see is this person truly happy for me and if i were to tell them tomorrow that i won the lottery would they be happy for me or would they hate my guts or be fake to me that's how i started viewing all of my relationships and that's how i determine who is genuine and another thing that i started doing which i told one of my friends this who was really really needing some advice i said why do you look at your friendships and your relationships different so for example, if you have a friend and this friend is treating you like crap, she always talks bad about you, very, very flaky, and you can recognize that that friend is not good for you and you're like, yeah, I don't want people like that in my life, but you're willing to put up with that in a relationship, what's the difference? Because we give a lot more grace either to relationships or to friends, but we don't hold both of those to the same standard when i told my friend that she told me that every time that something happened whether it was with a friend or with a relationship she thought about that like that was where her mind first went to is okay i like this guy but he does this and i wouldn't want this in a friendship anyways so i don't want this guy and i'm telling y'all it works it literally works what do you ask for when you get your hair done well my hair is dark now i went back to my natural color just like dark brown i guess what i ask for when i get a haircut is usually like three inches off every time i go and then i'll ask for face framing layers starting at my chin now obviously my hair has grown a lot like this is how much it's grown since december when i asked for a haircut and my hair grows like that like a weed it's crazy how fast my hair grows but i love face framing layers and it just kind of gives your hair some like volume and movement for a while my hair was just like flat just straight across no movement and i had it like that because during cheer i could always trust on my hair if it was just straight but i do love the layers i feel like it gives me a more mature look what's a quote you stick with this is a quote that my dad told me when i first started youtube a lot of girls at my school immediately turned on me hated my guts and then like a month later they would be like 
coming back and being really nice to me for some reason. I had a lot of hard times being friends with girls, which is why I always gravitated towards having guy friends. And you know what? The internet has said some crazy things and people have a lot to say, especially when I was friends with my friend group back in Texas. It was like a group of nine, 11 guys, and then it was me, and then my two girlfriends. Everybody was like, oh, she's a pick me, blah, 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 blah. And I mean, everyone's entitled to their own opinion, but personally for me, I feel like guys don't have as much drama as girls. They also aren't out for you in the sense of tearing you down sometimes and being jealous and whatnot because girls naturally get very, very jealous. And for what I do in my job and the amazing opportunities and successes that have been brought to me, I struggled a lot to find genuine friends. And so my dad told me during a really hard point in my life that people come into your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. Reflecting and looking back at my past friendships, the people that were no longer in my life, the people that are in my life right now, and just thinking, who am I gonna be friends with in the future? Really helped me analyze, okay, is this person in my life for a reason? Are they teaching me something? Are they in it for a season, just a short amount of time? Or are they gonna be there for the long haul? I don't know, it's always stuck with me. My dad is very, very good with his quotes. His favorite one is, the early bird gets the worm. My whole family woke up at 5.45 every morning for as long as I can remember. We we're always early to events and things. We were never, ever late. God forbid if we're late it's bad in our family, <laughs> you know? And as cheesy as I used to think they were, they actually stick, so good job, Ricky P. My camera is flashing, it's like yelling at me, telling me we're done. So anyways, I love you guys so much and I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Yeah, get excited, I'm gonna be really active on YouTube, I'm also so active on TikTok right now. So go follow it, all my links will be in the description and I will see y'all in my next video, ciao.